Hey, what's happening, everyone? I'm Sarah James coming at you guys with another video, and today I'm here to give you guys a product review of something that I showcased towards the beginning of this year, specifically back in February, and that is a Ultra Saber product known as the Dark Sentinel V4 Staff. Before we hop into it, I just do have two quick announcements. First off, I'm getting a couple uh, new five-piece uh, canvas prints here. Uh, so there's going to be two different options. Uh, one of them, based on your guys' votes, is going to be the Clone Trooper with the Ahsoka paint job. And then the second one is the classic Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader. So I hope you guys look forward to that, and hopefully they'll come in by next month. And the second quick announcement is that I'm also getting a fully installed Princess Leia lightsaber. So hopefully you guys look forward to that. And that's also going to be complete with a profi board. So yes, I'm finally looking to the profis as you guys have been bugging me about. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So when it comes to the Dark Sentinel V4 staff, not only do I have a one set, but I have two sets. And the reason why is because at the time of ordering, I originally chose the Tri-Cree tri Blue and Green because I was curious, because you know, you guys, for those of you who know me, I love the NeoPixel setups. However, the problem with the NeoPixel lightsabers is that they're not really going to be dual worthy. They're more like a showcase type piece versus a lightsaber with an LED where the blades for the most part are pretty much hollow and you could go ahead and go full ham with these and not have to worry about anything breaking in the inside. Though if the blade breaks, it's a really inexpensive thing to replace versus a NeoPixel blade which can go up to 180 bucks. So yeah, those are not cheap whatsoever. Now, again, originally I chose to get the tri uh blue and green option, which are these ones here with the quick release connector. And I also got one with the cover tech wheel, but I ended up removing the cover tech wheel. And because I like these so much, I chose to get a second set exactly the same way. The only difference is that I chose for the second set not to get the quick release, not to get the cover tech, but I chose the tri Cree red options, which again, all these options look great and I'm really happy with the outcome. Now, what I wanted to do is that I wanted to go ahead and give you guys pretty much the negative out of the way so we can go ahead and focus on the positive because I do like the product, but the negative that I have is actually not in regards to the product, is in regards to the customer service from Ultra Sabers, which you guys may have heard different stories. And well, it pretty much goes like this. Typically when you order, so for example, my order here, uh, you know, you get whatever options you chose for the health, whatever options you chose for the LED blade, and all that fun stuff, which again, everything was correct for the most part. But on the second set, because I didn't choose to get the quick release since I already had one, by default, you would get a normal connector, which will allow you to connect the sabers together. However, the one that they sent me with my second order is the wrong size. This is meant for their V2 option, and which I never knew they had much thinner ones, but yeah, apparently they do. And this one does not work with my saber. I needed the one that's up from this that works for the V3 and above. And I reached out to their customer service. And again, this has been ongoing for two months now, no response. And you know, I sent a nice professional email, order number, even showed pictures and basically explained that they sent me the wrong part and hopefully, hoping they would, you know, pretty much get back to me and fix their issue nothing for two months in fact i kid you not i get an email today which is not directly to me it's for everyone who's ordered from ultra sabers before and in this email and again i'll post a screen cap too it basically says that pretty much due to an error from their formal lead customer service representative they have lost access to all their emails that was sent prior as of 5 25 2020 which means that they cannot read or reply to any emails sent before today so not only do they have terrible customer service but they now have lost basically access to all their emails I mean, I just don't know how you could, t I can't make this up. So I sent them a new email or corresponding to what they've sent here. So we'll see, maybe I might hear something, but yeah, as far as uh, them fixing their issue, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen, but that's really the only negative that I have to say. But everything else, I do like. Uh, for example, when it comes to the shipment between both orders, I actually received them within a span of a month and a half tops and that was for both sets mind you and so again the shipping wise great customer service terrible 
Uh, here is a closer look at the hilt here. Come on. There we go. It's a very nice looking option because uh, the thing is for their staff options, a lot of their hilts are pretty basic looking. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing themed for specific characters. Uh, which is perfectly fine. Again, I just wanted kind of something to train with and practice. They do have some nice hill options where it's just like the chrome or silver finish to it. And you can add something basic, you know, do a little bit of a light weathering, kind of like the one from the mystery box that I showcase. Or you could even add something like leather wrapping to improve its overall look. I've seen some of the creativity that the community has come up with. In fact, for my second set here, I actually did add some grips. Uh, let's see if I could try to showcase this as best as I can. So on this one here, there's no grips. This is completely smooth uh, in terms of how it came. And this one, you might notice that there's something a little bit different in terms of where the black area is. And that's because I have this rubber coating that pretty much goes over it. I don't even know what the cable is because it wasn't like um, a leather wrapper or anything. It's like this really rubber cable i think it was actually used for electronics to be honest it's just what i had lying around and it just fit perfectly in the groove here so rather than having it like this uh, where again there's no grip to it i now actually do have a nice grip here that doesn't add much to the bulkiness at all which in fact these are not really thick sabers they're actually quite thin as you can see with it within my hand here or if we hold it at the thinnest part which the thinnest part would be right here towards the center and of course, right here towards the neck area, almost kind of giving it a thin neck look, but not exactly. And also too, I did get this with the window emitters on both options. Now, when it comes to the initial price point, uh, you're looking at depending on what you get with your choice. So for me, for my example, if you were to get the Sabre and that bird is really loud, let me close this door here. <laughs> Um, so if you were to go with the basic options, not changing anything, this could be as low as $130. Or you can choose to customize your health to get uh, the laser etched options, which I did. I also chose to opt in to get the silver round activation switch. I opt in to pay for the middle, uh, middle, <laughs> the emitter window. And then of course, with the original order, I got the quick release. And, um, you know, again, these are options that you can choose to go with or you don't have to. Again, there's depending on what kind of budget you have, you're going to find something that you like. And what's nice about getting this as a Sabre Staff option, too, is because let's say you were in a situation. Maybe you have a little brother or friend or some type of family member that is also big into Star Wars. This is kind of a nice way for not only you to get a lightsaber, but also too for the other person. Or if you just wanted to have a duel, basically, you know, go ahead and, you know, take one and they get the other one. Customize whatever LED options you want and go ahead and have at it and have your own little Star Wars episode. Uh, so again, there's some nice options to go with. Uh, let's see, the other thing I wanna go ahead and mention is the quick release. Now the quick release connector, if I recall, I think it was like 20 or 30 something to the additional cost. And again, the quick release connector does exactly what it says, which is a quick release. So again, we have two separate sabers right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and like this. And now we have a saber that is combined. At any point, if we wanted to, boom, just like that, quickly release them. And again, attach and release. So I think the quick release is a really nice add-on if it's something that you like. And it just kind of has me, uh, gives me that vibe from Jedi Fallen Order where Cal will do some type of combination once you've unlocked the ability, of course, where he detaches the second saber, does a really sick combo, and then reattaches it. It just kind of gives me that vibe there. And I really like that option. Uh, next, let's go ahead and talk about the actual uh, saber in terms of durability. Now these things have been heavily used by me and they've fallen many, many times. Not on concrete, keep in mind that I usually practice on a grassy surface. And they've fallen many, many times. And not once have I had any issues with the product in terms of maybe the blade breaking or maybe with the LED or any of the internal electronics because this is a stunt setup. The electronics are pretty basic where it's just the blade lights up, no sound whatsoever. You could opt in for sound if you wanted to, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money because again, the main reason why I got these is because if something were to happen to these, I'm not going to feel as bad about it. But again, the Tri-Cree LEDs are nice and bright. The hilts, especially these ones here, are built like a tank. They've gone through a lot of abuse, zero issues whatsoever. 
Now, the other cool thing too, and most of you pretty much already know this by now, but this is mostly information for those who are new into maybe buying a lightsaber, is what's neat about the LED option is again, not only do you have uh, no internals as far as the blade goes, so you, you could basically go ahead and duel with these, is that there's a bunch of different blade options. This one here is the uh, Ultra Sabers Ultra Edge Mid-Grade that I chose with my purchase. There are different options. You could even get a heavy grade blade for heavy dueling if you wanted to. Uh, you could even get blades from other companies. Like for example, here this black one is by Kyber Lights. We can go ahead and incorporate this. And this one, as you can see, we got all the cracks and stuff like that in here, which looks really cool. Looks a bit better with red, but again, there's different options. Or you could also get a, um, a Ultra Saber, uh, not Ultra Saber, a Saber Forge Day Blade. So if you're gonna go ahead and use these during the day, then you have that option too. So you, get, you have a lot of different options to go with your hilts after you make your initial purchase. But overall, I do have to say that these are definitely a nice product. So if you're looking for specifically a training saber or maybe a starter or whatever the case may be, then you really can't go wrong. Like I said, if you have any issues, their customer service is downright terrible. But as far as their staff option helps, I think these are great. Um, but again, that's just my own personal opinion. And uh, before we end off this video, I'm gonna go ahead and let it play for you and um, I was gonna bring the uh, the puppy up here. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about the puppy, but she's over here uh, sleeping right now. Um, but I think I'll take a shot of this really quick, and then you guys will see the final version where I'm just over there outside swinging. Keep in mind that I don't have any main skill swinging an individual saber, let alone two, but you know I'm not too bad when it comes to the staff option. But until then, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video upload.